Hello, and welcome to Databases CSCI 240. I'm your instructor, Cheryl Simpson, and I'll be working with you for the next eight weeks getting through this course. Some people are a little intimidated by databases, don't be. They run the world. It's really important if you have any interest in staying in computer science that you need to understand how the data works, and it's all about the data. So learning the best ways to make your database, to make it most efficient, to be able to get the data that you want out of it, really important skill for any programmer. A couple of things about me. I have degrees in computer science from the University of California in San Diego and mathematics from Western Governors. I've been in the industry for over 20 years writing database driven websites. I've also been teaching for the last eight both in high school and in college and um, I have four kids and I've been married for 20 years. So with this course Communication is going to be really, really important. You're going to need to be able to talk to me, talk to the rest of your teammates. The best way to do that is through a program we call Microsoft Teams. It's a collaborative studio to allow you to talk to me, talk to the other people in the team, share information, share knowledge. It's great. And a lot of people in the industry also use it. So the knowledge that you'll learn by using Teams with this course will hopefully help you as you continue on. To log into Microsoft Teams, you already have an account. It's part of your Microsoft 365 account that comes with a school. You're going to use your net ID, so A12B123 at GFCMSU. You're going to use that login and password, the same password you use for D2L, to get into Microsoft Teams. If you do not already have it installed on your computer, you're going to want to do that. Otherwise, you can always go to the website, just Microsoft Teams, search for it, you'll find it. Um, I will have already added you to the team, so when you log in, you should see CSCI 240 already on there. Um, you can go in there, and I'll have a general tab that just gives you general information, things that you need to know. I'll update it all the time, so if there's something else that comes up, I'll do that. Then we'll have a tab for all of the individual weeks, so that for week one, if you have questions, go ahead and post me questions on there. And as team members, you guys can all respond to each other. It's really important that we act as a team. There's also a way to chat. So you can click the chat bar up at the top. Just type in my name. You'll find me. And um, ask me questions if you have trouble. If you have anything that you're having a hard time getting the software installed, looking for something. I'm working on this query, and it just isn't working right. Send me a text. I can live share with you. I can share your screen. We can do lots of things to make it work. So I really hope that you get comfortable with Microsoft Teams and can communicate there. You can always text me or email me as well. That information is on D2L. You can always text me on my cell if you need me. But Teams actually goes straight to my cell as well. I can get it most times. In this course, we're going to have weekly meetings. So you're going to have to log in at least once a week to be able to discuss something as a team. I'm going to add a little bit more lecture and I'm going to be explaining things in the team meetings about what's expected this week. So it's important for you to log in. As there's only seven in this course, I'm hoping we can get through the team meeting at just one time, but if we have to do two, we'll do two. No worries. Anything to make it work and make it so that you learn a lot in this course. The textbook. There was a little bit of confusion with the bookstore on the textbook. They are getting more copies in, so if you have not already purchased the textbook, you can wait and I can help you through the first week of lessons without it um, if necessary. Otherwise, I would recommend going buying it off of Amazon or um, something like that. If you have already purchased MindTap or the Cengage Unlimited, the book is available through there as well. Um, you do not need the MindTap program though because we're not doing any of our lessons or any of our assignments through MindTap. We're only using the textbook and then the other resources I'm going to be giving you. So you don't need MindTap if you did not already purchase it. Please don't go do that. Um, if you can get the book from Amazon, renting it from them or from the bookstore. If you have trouble, just let me know. Like I said, it's only seven of you. Please talk to me. Be, be a team. Let's talk together and we'll do fine. The way this course is written in the textbook, we don't actually start writing SQL queries until chapter seven. I think that's crap. Sorry, I do. I think that it's really useful for you to start typing SQL as soon as possible. So we're going to be doing two chapters a week. We'll start with chapter one and two, and then we're adding on a little bit of chapter seven. So we'll do a little bit of chapter seven in week one and a little bit of chapter seven in week two and a little bit of chapter seven in week three. So that by the time you get to week four, you've already done all of chapter seven and you move right on to chapter eight. 
which is great because that's where the real meat and potatoes of databases is going in writing your queries understanding how things work and I don't want to make you wait four weeks before you get to start doing that so chapters one through six kind of a little cerebral lots of text a lot of reading a lot of why are we doing this and that's really important to understand but let's get to the actual work as well so just pay attention to the lessons that are on D2L and the lessons that are through the video lectures and um, talk to me stay in touch with me and I will try to make this as painless as possible if you worked with me before, you'll notice that I like to use video lectures. I don't think it's right to have an online class where all you do is read the book and what's the point of me being an instructor if I don't get to instruct. So I will do video lectures for every chapter. I've kind of pulled out the stuff I think you need to know and thrown that into a video to try to explain the important parts about it. I want you to understand. It's really important in computers for you to understand. So there's going to be video lectures for every chapter. Yes, you can listen to them in your car. Yes, you can listen to them on tape but um, or on your phone, on your headphones. But I'd like it if you did it in front of a computer screen because there's going to be parts of that that I'm going to say, okay, stop what you're doing and go do this on a computer. So again, first couple of chapters aren't, but as we move on more, we're going to do a lot more actual physical work, writing SQL queries and so on and so forth. So please watch the video lectures. Yes, I put a lot of extra time into them. I really think they're important. Also, for your assignments, it's really important for your assignments to recognize if I ask for a document, what I mean is go make a Microsoft Word document, type in your answers like you would for an English class or a history class, type in your answers, and you're going to be snipping or, or screenshotting parts of your database. When you do this, there is a tool on Microsoft called the Snipping Tool. You can type in Snip into the search bar and you can get the Snipping Tool. It allows you to select what you're going to snip and you just snip that little piece and then you can just copy and paste it right into a document. It makes it really easy to post what it is you're trying to show me. When we get further along, you're going to have your own database, which I can see, and I'll be able to access that directly. Databases. So, lots of different databases that we can pick from, and I'm not going to go into them in the introduction. We're doing that in lesson one, but we're going to be using a, comp a cloud project called Microsoft Azure. I use Azure in my personal life, in my, in my business, all the time. So, Azure is great. It allows you to access this information from the cloud. You can use it anywhere you want, and you don't have to have a server sitting, you know, in your office or in on campus. It's in the cloud. It's easy to get to. What I'm going to do is each of you is going to have your own personal database. So I'm going to set up a master database that you can query against and you'll be able to use. And then you'll have your own database. And that's where you're going to be doing your projects. We're going to be having at least two projects, a midterm and a final. And you're going to be creating databases and doing queries against your own database in Microsoft Azure. Um, just like a normal company would be, just like a normal programmer. You have to go make a database, this is what you would do. And I want you to get that experience. So that's gonna be part of your midterm and your final, being able to make a database using your own database, your own credentials. It's not gonna be mine, it's gonna be yours, and I'm gonna see how you built it. That being said, don't think that you're gonna get away from writing all the documentation, because that's really important in databases. To get into SQL Server, we're gonna be using a SQL Server database. So we're gonna be using SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio, I think we're on version 18. You can download it online, it's free. Um, and it allows you to access your database and be able to access all of the information. You can run your queries against it. So if you have not already downloaded um, Microsoft's SQL Server Management Studio, please do so, because that's a really important thing for you to have. If you are a Visual Studio person and you want to use the database plugin in Visual Studio, you can. And there's a, there's a database plugin. You can connect to your database from there and you can run queries from there and that's fine as well. I like actually using both. I use Visual Studio's plugin when I'm working on, an ex, on a specific web design project that needs the database, but I'll open up SQL Server Management Studio in the background to run my queries against just because I think that it's, it's more efficient to directly connect to it without going through Visual Studio. Again, you're going you're gonna to find what works for you and it'll be fine. So my expectations of you in this course, again, seven of you, I'm going to keep tabs on you. I can't wait to teach databases. I have been waiting for this for years. I love it. I love teaching databases. So I'm going to keep an eye on you. I'm going to be watching you and I'm going to be available for anything you need. 
because I want to, because I want to be able to help you teach this, help you understand this. Um, so I expect you to communicate. I expect you to talk to me. I expect you to talk to the classmates about what's going on in your, in your class. If something comes up and life happens, God knows, I know life happens. Call me, send me a text and just say, this is what's going on in my life. I can't get my assignment to you on time, or I'm struggling with this. It isn't making any sense. And I'll walk you through it. We'll call, we can do um, video chats, we can do live share, we can do a lot of things to communicate. Communication in this course is the most important thing. So I am on Visual Studio Teams all, or uh, Microsoft Teams all the time. You can go on there at any time and text me and it'll be fine. So homework. You are going to have assignments. You're going to have assignments every chapter. Can't get away from doing assignments. It's a class. It's a college class. I have to have proof you learned something. Each of those projects, I have gone through and I have picked and chose specific questions or specific problems for you to work on. I didn't just say do all of them because I think that's just redundant. Um, these are the ones I think are going to give you the most information and the most challenge at the same time. I want you to be challenged by this course and I want you to learn a lot. So it's really important for me that you do those assignments. Yes, they're going to have due dates. We're going to do Wednesdays and Sundays for when they're due. Do Wednesday, do Sunday. So chapter one will be due Wednesday. Chapter two and some of chapter seven will be due Sunday. Chapter three will be due Wednesday. Chapter four and some more of chapter seven will be due on Sunday. We'll follow this till the midterm and then we'll keep going. Okay. Eight weeks. Eight weeks is a very short period of time. There is a lot of information I am throwing at you and I really do expect 15 hours of time spent on this course. If you don't have 15 hours a week to spend on this course, you're going to struggle. There's a lot going on. And some people can read the book. Okay, I finished the book in, you know, an hour. Cool. I expect you to do the projects. I expect you to talk to me. I expect you to come into the meetings, you know, in the online meetings. Um, and I think it's going to be really important. So, again, can't wait to teach this. Hope that you will love databases as much as I do. Databases are a tool. They're not something to be afraid of. And I think that you will understand how powerful they are by the time we get to the end. Have a fabulous week. Contact me. Go on to Teams and let me know what days and times work for the meeting. And we will talk soon.